it's since the 80s. We led the nation in renewable energy and fuels. Not only do we feed the world, but we fuel the world. We, our goal is to be at 40% by 2020. I think they're about at 19 right now, and to be coal free by 2025. So it's very aggressive, but they feel confident with the, the um, update that they gave us today that they can meet that. And so this is an opportunity for take, to take these best practices and help really scale them and, and educate uh, other uh, areas across the state on, on an example of using renewable energy. Um, one of the exciting things about the program is the chance to bring in private sector investment into the state. Um, we already have companies interested in joining us in this project and setting up shop in Iowa, so that's great news too. It's job creation, economic development, and income to growers like Dan Black. And that we can make the process and when we can show through demonstrated pilot programs like this that it's doable, it's achievable, and, and the more that we can scale what they're doing here at the University of Iowa, again, that helps drive the supply chain, that helps drive the market, that encourages farmers to take a look at uh, well, we're not harvesting the grass yet, but I feel like I'm out the field right at home. Uh, it really encourages, you know, them, it, the industry to, to build that out.